Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. I wanted one vacation without my stepson, but it made me realize I wasn't treating him as my own. Now we're working on becoming a real family. I'm a 38-year-old woman, and I've been married to my husband 39 for five years now. Together we have two little girls, one is five, and the other is two. I also have a 10-year-old son from a previous marriage. Unfortunately, my first husband passed away, so I'm the only parent my son has. Now, my husband has a nine-year-old son from his previous marriage, and here's where it gets tricky. His ex-wife is barely in the picture at all. They divorced when my stepson was only two years old, and she decided she wanted a fresh start. So, being the decent man that he is, my husband took full custody of their son. He originally wanted shared custody, but she wasn't interested. Since then, we've been raising my stepson with basically no involvement from his mom. Anyway, I recently got a pretty sweet bonus at work, and I started thinking about taking my family on vacation. But for once just this one time I want it to be a trip where it's just my family, you know, me, my husband, our two daughters, and my son. Every vacation we've ever taken has included my stepson, which of course makes sense he's part of the family. But I've always been the one taking care of him too, and just for once, I'd love a break from the responsibility of someone else's kid. Now, before anyone jumps on me, let me clarify I do not hate my stepson. He's a good kid and we get along fine. But the truth is, he's not my child. And I don't think it's unreasonable to want to go on a family vacation that's just with the kids I gave birth to, especially considering that we've always done everything together in the past. So I brought this idea up to my husband, and to my surprise, he was totally fine with it. He understood where I was coming from. He gets that I'm not trying to push his son out of our lives, I just want to have one trip where I'm not in the role of stepmom. I suggested that my stepson stay with his mom for the week while we go. After all, it's not like I'm asking her to take him for months just one week. But if she refuses, then of course my stepson will come with us like he always does. It's not like I'm going to leave him stranded or something. But then, my mom found out about this plan, and she was not happy. She basically told me that I was being selfish, and that since my stepson's mom isn't involved in his life, I should be more involved to make up for it. I honestly think that's a completely unfair expectation. Just because his mom isn't around doesn't mean I should be bending over backwards all the time. She also said that I was being hypocritical for taking my own son on the trip, but not my stepson. But to me, that's completely different. My son has no other parent. I am all he has. My stepson still has his mom, even if she's not around much. So here's where I'm stuck. If my stepson's mom won't take him for that week, I'll definitely bring him with us. I'm not heartless. But is it really so bad to want just one vacation with my own kids? I've always included my stepson in everything. And this is just one time I'd like to do something different. With relevant comments someone named Asinine Adeline asked, If your math is right, you and your husband got married when your stepson was four, right? What kind of relationship does your stepson have with you versus his bio mom? I responded, yeah, he was four when we got married. As I said, he barely sees his bio mom. I'm not sure what point you're trying to make update, wow. So, this whole thing blew up way more than I expected. After reading through tons of comments calling me the a-hole, I realized I needed to take a step back and look at this from a different angle. I decided to show the post to my husband, and it led to a really long, emotional conversation that, frankly, I wasn't expecting, it turns out. My husband had never been completely comfortable with the way I've been handling things with my stepson, but he didn't know how to bring it up without causing tension between us. That was honestly hard for me to hear. He admitted that he felt like I was always a little distant with his son. And while he understood my reasons, it still hurt him to see me treat our girls and my son differently than his child. Hearing him say that made me realize something huge I'd never really thought of my stepson as part of my family. He's always been my husband's child and I saw myself as more of a caregiver than a parent to him. This wasn't something I did out of malice or neglect, but rather because of my own personal baggage. Let me explain. When I was a kid, my own father passed away before I even turned one, so I have no memory of him. My mom remarried when I was seven and I was thrilled because I finally had a father figure in my life again, but when I turned 11, my stepdad left and I never saw him again. That experience messed me up in ways I didn't fully understand until now. It taught me that step-parents weren't permanent and that relationships with them weren't real family bonds. Without realizing it, I had carried that belief into my relationship with my stepson. I thought as long as I was there, I was doing better than my ex-stepdad who left me and broke my heart. But I never truly embraced my stepson as my own and it took this whole situation to open my eyes to how wrong that was. After all the comments and after my husband opened up to me, I realized I needed help. So I booked an appointment with a therapist to work through my feelings. A few weeks into therapy, we also started family therapy, which has been life-changing for all of us. I even had a sit-down conversation with my stepson, where I explained my own issues and why I'd acted the way I did. 
He broke down crying, saying he had always been scared that I didn't like him, and honestly, that shattered me. I apologized and told him that wasn't true I've just been a bad step-parent because I never fully processed my own trauma. We had the first real heart-to-heart -heart that we've ever had. Since that day we've been spending more time together, just the two of us, and I'm working hard to change how I think about him. He's not just my husband's kid anymore, he's my son. Most of all, he always called me by my first name, but last Thanksgiving, he asked to start calling me mom. It made me so happy. I told him that I loved him and he said he loved me too. Since then, he always just calls me mom. A lot of people also talked about the ways my husband needed to improve, to be more assertive and protective of his children. He knows that. It's very easy to see the problems when they're presented to you all at once in a Reddit post, but when things happen day to day, it's a lot harder to realize how issues are building up. But he's working hard, like we both are, to try to make our family the happiest it can be. We both know we still have to keep working at this. I'm still in therapy and we're still having family therapy, but I'm grateful to work at it. I'm grateful to have all my children. It's very hard for me to write this, to think about the way things were before I started therapy. It makes me cry every time I think about it. But I want to thank you, Reddit. I wrote my original post just looking for validation from my own point of view, and I never thought the internet could change my life this way. But it has. I feel like for the first time we're truly a family. Community response Reddit. Commenter one, I couldn't have said it any better myself. The audacity of this woman is honestly astonishing. I've been with my boyfriend for about two and a half years and I literally could never even dream of trying to tell him that I didn't want one of his three children to come with us on vacation. His oldest 16M isn't even biologically his and he still takes him whenever he picks up his biological children from their mother's house. We would never, ever exclude him from any family fun trip we were taking. Pop, you're definitely a huge asshole in this situation and it's weird that your own mother was the one to tell you this and not your husband. When you married your husband, his son became your stepson, just like your son became his step stepson. How would you feel if he wanted to exclude your son? You said yourself that your stepson's mother isn't a very attentive mother and maybe that's not the same thing as having a deceased parent but fuck lady. Have some goddamn empathy. Commenter 2, I am heartbroken for this child. He was already abandoned by his biological mother. Now the mother figure in his life doesn't want him either. Doesn't consider him family. How awful for this poor boy. I hope his dad realizes what he married and gets out of it so his son can be in a safe place where he is only surrounded by people that love him and want him. Commenter 3 dad is obviously just as much as an ah. He only begrudgingly accepted full custody and is totally on board with her plans. What kind of parent marries someone that treats their child like garbage and is okay with it? A garbage one. Commenter 4 for sure, dad is even more of an ah. This kid is going to go no contact with them as soon as he's an adult and I bet they'll wonder why. I feel so bad for him. Commenter 3 yes, but if you'll notice, she said she was widowed. Apparently this makes a giant difference on whether or not you can love the other person's child. You see her child is perfect and precious because they're. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.